these are some of the things that you're going to need to uh, do the winterization on your pressure washer. We've got just a couple of fittings here. Pressure washers are going to use your uh, use uh, garden hose fittings. So I've got a hose barb, a five gallon container. On the five gallon containers, you may or may not know that, but you can knock the center out of them and then it'll be just a uh, three quarter inch fitting that screw right in here. Gives you the opportunity to put a hose barb on there. Got some three quarter inch tubing. And on the other end, we're gonna use the male garden hose and that's gonna actually go into your pressure washer. Gonna need a solvent to go through there that, that keeps your pump from freezing up. We've got right here, this one's for a smaller residential and we'll show you how to use this here in just a little bit. It's an AR pump saver and it's actually got an attachment that'll go straight onto the pressure washer. Uh, for you or we sell here a windshield washer concentrate that uh, is you know it's got some anti-freezing properties onto it so we'll just put all this together and we'll show you how to hook it up the first pressure washer we're going to look at here this is a land of pd3 this is kind of on the end of a residential unit that you might have a homeowner might have laying around the house we're going to use the uh, ar pump saver on this one it's pretty simple quick and easy to, to do this all we're going to do is take the land, the uh, pump saver and put it right in here. This is where your garden hose is normally going to go. And then I've got a little valve right here. We're going to turn the valve and open it up. I'm going to tip that up so it's running water, running the uh, pump saver into the pump. And I'm going to fire up the machine. Here's another technique for winterizing your pressure washer. This is especially handy for if you've got a larger pressure washer system, maybe like this set up on a trailer uh, with a garden reel hose, or if you're winterizing often, this would be the way to do it. You know, as we showed you in the shop just a little bit ago, you've got your five gallon uh, jug of your windshield washer fluid, a couple of fittings here, and we're just gonna take the hose over here. And again, connects right up to where your garden hose would go into the machine. And then we would just simply tip the, tip the jug over, allowing the fluid to fill into the line, and then start her up. When you're running a tank, a tank system like this, when we set them up and set a, set a valve on it, right here so that you can turn the valve on and on and off you would turn it off and unscrew your filter screen right here and then turn the valve back on and that would allow you to drain the tank so that, so that you don't have any icing in the tank when you're squeezing the trigger on that and you're running the, the your antifreeze through the system make sure you pull the trigger and let the trigger off a couple of times when you're running it make sure that you get the high pressure side of your pump and the low bypass section of the pump this is far and away the easiest kind of machine there is to winterize. This is a PGDC. And it's got the optional float tank on it. Simply all there is to it, open up the door right here on the side that exposes the float tank, pour your antifreeze into, into the float tank, run the machine just like the other ones until it shows blue coming out the, out the outlet hose. Now that we got the pumps, pumps winterized, got to take care of the engine. If you don't, don't run something through there to stabilize that fuel in there, your carburetors are going to gum up and come springtime when you go to run the machine again. It's probably not going to go. We carry here in the shop a little fuel stabilizer uh, in different pack, package sizes, whether you got you know one machine, a couple of machines, or a whole lot of machines. Uh, highly recommend you do that. That ought to get you going. That should have you wrapped up. It's a pretty simple process. Get your machine winterized so it'll be up and running and ready for you in the spring. Get out of here and go clean something.